Hi everyone, my name is Skip Gus. I'm a PGA professional, owner of Golf Ride Academy in South Barrow, Massachusetts. A former PGA Tour player who is very fortunate. I learned to play golf from Sam Snead, Tom Creevy, Jack Grout, and Bob Toskey. What we like to do today is offer a series of short game drills and tips that uh, you can utilize in your practice sessions to help you play golf a little bit better. So sit back and enjoy it and uh, hope you get a few things out of it that uh, might help you play better. All right, for our first exercise, what you're gonna see is that I put down some markers and we're gonna hit some different golf shots. There's nine markers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get up and down. And we, we will see we have various shots. Some of the rough, some of the bunker, some chips, some pitches. We're gonna use different golf clubs. You'll get a kick out of this being a grandfather. All my wedges are named after one of the grandchildren. So I might use a Rosie or I might use a Timmy. I don't know, we'll find out. But we're gonna have some fun with the shots. And what we're trying to do is determine how our short game rates to the way we play. So as an example, let's say my scoring average is 80. And I'm gonna hit nine golf shots. And the nine golf shots I'd like to get up and down. So if I got up and down and two on all of them, nine times two is 18 or I'm even par. Now, if I'm even par for, thir for nine holes, that's 36. 36 times two is 72. So that's like an 18-0 score. My scoring average is 80, but my short game score was 72. That means my short game is an asset. If I go differently, I do these nine shots and I'm plus six, plus six is 42. 42 times two is 84. My scoring average is 80. That means my short game hurt me by four. So this is just a very, very simple way to see how your short game measures up against your actual scoring average. So let's try this exercise and let's see how we do. Okay, so here's what the shot was left. Let's clean it up. Let's go through the routine. Take your time, don't rush it just like you're on the golf course. All right, we're off to a good start. Let's go to hole number two. All right, for hole number two, continue with a variety of golf shots. Let's hit a basic bunker shot. Let's see how that goes. Well, that was a good one. On to hole number three. All right, for hole number three, we put one outside the rough. Let's switch golf clubs. I gotta go higher, use the, use the back of the sole a little bit more. Let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna grab the 58. Let's make sure that ball goes up. All right, even par. Wow, I was even par up until that point. I really wanted to make that, so that put a little bit of extra pressure on it. And that's the kind of things I want to find out. I want to find out how I handle the pressure so when I do it next time, I can handle it a little bit better. So even though I missed it, made a bogey, I learned something from that. So that was good. All right, that completes the nine holes. I was one over par for nine holes. So that's plus one, plus one is 37. 37 times two is 74. If my scoring average is 72, that's plus two, not too bad. 
my short game was pretty good. My scoring average was 80. That would mean I was minus six from 74. That means my short game helped me. So work on this, try it, record your progress, make sure you keep it on paper, and you'll see as your scores go, as your scores go down around the green, your scores go down on the golf course as well.